So are you disappointed that Comcast isn't planning on taking down the, the Israel ad? Have you had conversations with them? I mean, where, where we sent the letter. I think it's down now, isn't it? I don't know. I'm sorry. The ad is not down. It's not? It's still up? Okay, don't, I don't watch much TV. Oh, you mean because it only had a short shelf life on television? Yeah, that's what I think. I think it is. Right. Um, look, we wouldn't have written the letter if, if, if it wasn't false. And so, yes, I would have liked taking it down because I'm big on facts, and the facts were wrong. Look, I went, Governor Rendell encouraged me and went that night with me to speak to care, as Senator Andy Denham did. And so I don't talk as a congressman just to those I agree with. I also talk to those I didn't agree. I went there that night and criticized that they had not condemned terrorism by name, Hamas and Hezbollah. Steve Israel, who is a mentor of mine in Congress, when I went to see him when this happened that day, and it, it was placed in my schedule, I had no one and it hit the internet, went and got the book out uh, of his library and said, make a speech, but make it like this, Ellie Wazell's speech, uh, when he went to, I told you about this. And so, and, but yeah, I, we want the facts out. That's all we want. Time to show me a, a I mean, whether they're wrong, I want to correct them, and when they're right, I want to put them out. So. Right.